I'm Monica Garcia, president of the LAUSD Board of Education, and welcome to Families Matter. Joining me each month is my co-host, Maria Casillas, the Chief of School, Family, and Parent Community Services. Our goal is to provide you information so that families can help their children graduate. Today's topic is the importance of attendance and the role that families play to ensure that their children are in school. Mm -hmm. Joining us later to discuss this issue is the Director of Pupil Services, Deborah Duardo. But first, a chance for Maria and I to talk about the latest regarding families and parent services. Services. Maria, I'm in. What's new? I'm in too. Well, you can see that this is a wonderful thing. It's called the parent, uh, po it's in the parent portal. It's called the LAUSD Parent Access. And the an I'm in campaign helps parents and children and the public at large understand what it is that we want children to participate in and the role of families in helping their children succeed. So this campaign has just uh, been kicked off. Um, and you can log on at families.leusd.net and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. And we're saying, uh, I'm in, we want kids to be in class every in single school, day. In school, ready to learn, you know, motivated to learn with a goal, I'm going to college, I'm going to have a career, you know, and families there like the army right behind them. Right, right, right. So and you're great. working on something that's exciting for all our parents. Uh, yes. Rights and responsibilities. Parent rights and responsibilities, yes. This was uh, a recommendation that came out of a task force about uh, last spring. And they made a recommendation that we should define ex very specifically what rights parents have and what responsibilities they have. So last summer, it was a wonderful experience. Our, our, our staff went out to all the local districts so that they covered all of the different types of schools that we have across the district and we met with about 250 parents to give us feedback about the language that they would like to see mm. in this document called the Parents Bill of Rights and Responsibilities. And so I think it's really apropos that we're talking about attendance because I think that's the essential responsibility that parents have. First of all they have the right to send their children to a free public school hopefully a school filled with quality, mm -hmm. but they have the responsibility to make sure that their children attend on a daily basis because attendance really matters. Right, mm -hmm. so we want kids to be in school and we want parents to be in on the campaign to in, get in, in. our kids to school. Unete. Unete. Uh -huh. We'll be right back with the Director of Pupil Services, Deborah Duardo. Today's event is the uh, I'm In campaign for Los Angeles Unified School District. I'm In is a, a universal, almost a slogan that we want to adopt in LAUSD. I'm In for eating right. I'm In for exercising. I'm In for attending school. I'm In for graduating. I'm In for being a good member of the community. It's encompassing to help the students become all that they can be. And as the food, director of food services, we're emphasizing a new menu was, was uh, revealed today, um, and uh, it's mainly plant-centric. It's all fresh fruits and vegetables. Uh, we've changed the look of school lunch. The whole reason is so that we can help students do better in school and get away from the old image of, of school lunch foods not good. Salvadorian beef, influential uh, El Salvador, sweet potatoes, potatoes, carrots, onion, celery, and plantains, different. K-12, very different plantains are inside, makes it really sweet and inspires all the other meats, all hand cut. Yakisoba, Japan, and flavors of chilies and uh, tomatoes and mushrooms, bell peppers, and sugar snap peas, which you could all see provide the color and all the flavors. Sweet potato fries, and very interesting and fun vegetable curry. AC Green is here. He's here to help teach them and show them how to exercise. Exercise fun. He's teaching some camps. Uh, we have a climbing uh, wall over here showing the young people that exercise. Get away from that computer all the time. Get away from the video games. Get out and do something every day for a couple of hours every day and exercise. It's important to lifelong wellness. And I want you to be a whole player. I want you to be a complete player. You can play offense, defense, you can go to your left and right. But at the same time, I don't want you to just be a basketball or a sports person. 
I want you to not only be a good athlete, but I also want you to be a, a good person. And that's what our character educators and coaches are going to help talk to you about. Um, it's important. I mean, camps are life lessons. You know, you teach character, you teach character development uh, inside of basketball. And so I love having a chance to really get, in, get involved with kids and, and try and teach them elements that's going to help them for life. It's not just about being fit, as important as that is, but learning about life and how to make good quality decisions. You can learn through sports, and that's what I like having my camps do. LAUSD, I just I thank you, you know, for in the sense of really uh, being a part of doing an I'm in campaign and really having the initiative to really want want to and put your money where your mouth is, as well as your educators where their mouth is, and really get out and try and do something very positive for our kids and our community. It's almost a million kids that you come in contact with, but the important thing is you're out, you're trying to do it. You know, it's up to the kids and to the families to receive, but you're offering, and that's what I really like. Welcome back to Families Matter. Joining us now is Deborah Eduardo, the Director of Pupil Services. Welcome, Deborah. Thank you. You have a big job. I do. So we want to talk to our parents today about attendance and the importance of being in school every day for every child. Share with us. There isn't anything more important than student attendance. Uh, every bit of research that we looked at tells us that students that attend school every day regularly are going to be on track to graduate. And those students that have excessive absences fall behind, they missed important instructional time, and they're very much less likely to graduate than their peers. Right. And can you tell me, where does the attendance factor begin to be a problem? Where does it start to show up? It starts in kindergarten. And mm -hmm. people are always surprised to hear that, but mm -hmm. our highest level of excessive absence, or what we call chronic absenteeism, which means that children are losing or missing more than 10% of the school days, the school year. So for LAUSD, we have 180 days. If they're missing more than 18 days, they're chronically absent. And it's mm -hmm. a very serious problem in kindergarten. How is it that so many of our schools have good attendance numbers? I go to schools and it says 90%, mm -hmm. 92, 95, and yet, how many students do we have missing more mm -hmm. than 18 days? How does that work? Well, the problem is that if you look at the overall school-wide mm -hmm. attendance, it could be 96%, but then you can still have pockets where you have certain students that have very poor attendance. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure every single one of our students are attending school right. every day, have good attendance, and are on track to graduate. Right, and I guess, you know, at kindergarten, it's really a function of the parent. Absolutely. So it's up to the parent to decide, not the child to decide, well, mm -hmm. today I'm going to walk over to my school, right? Right. So what reason do parents give for keeping their children out of mm -hmm. school? Well, parents give lots of reasons, and we understand that things happen in life and sometimes the unexpected can happen. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. parents give, um, often will say, my car broke down, it was raining, it was cold, I didn't want to send my child to school because I thought they'd get sick. Uh, I had a medical appointment. I mean, there are various reasons, but really the only reason why a child should miss school is because they're sick. Uh, we don't want children to have medical appointments, dental appointments during the school day. We have a lot of other time after mm -hmm. school and during their vacation time where we can schedule those appointments. We really want to set good patterns of attendance starting very early so that our children know attendance is important that I attend school every day and I don't miss school unless I absolutely have to and that's because I'm right, sick. Right. Yeah. Well and I suppose that you know schools contribute to like having a campaign with the kids so what are some good school practices that they can employ? What should a parent expect from a school to sort of motivate the student to be at school? Mm -hmm. And on the other hand what are those practices that maybe parents need to instill in their children or at, in the home so mm -hmm. that children are you know ready to go to school every right. day. Well of course at the school site it starts with good instruction and engaging children and making mm -hmm. learning fun and interesting sure. providing a safe campus where everybody feels welcome and they, they know that they can do well in school. Um, as far as our parents, you know, it's also about establishing routines and making sure that the night before they have everything that they need ready to go. So they have their homework, their school mm -hmm. clothes, their backpacks, their lunch. 
so that they're not last minute going, oh my God, my uniform's dirty, I don't have anything to wear, I can't go to school. So we want to have those routines. But it's also really important that parents talk to their children about school because children learn about the importance of school and attendance by the adults that they're surrounded by. So if parents say school is the most important thing, that's your job, um, I'm going to support you, but you need to go to school every single day, then children will really value that. Yeah. Maria, you, you were sharing that you talked to 250 parents. We hear parents want their children to be successful oh, in school. Of course. We hear parents who want to partner with the district. And do you have a sense that people know that attendance is that important and we need to make sure that we reduce this chronic absence? Well, I, I'm not sure that they understand how serious it is. Uh, I think that when they want their kids to get a good education, they're intuitively some parents just do all the right things. But I think as Deborah has indicated, parents are stressed out sometimes. Right. Families have a lot of, of stresses on them and just getting their children to school will require that they make a sacrifice, that they establish a very good routine for themselves because a child will learn that kind of behavior and that kind of expectation in the home. Mm -hmm. And this is why I think uh, teachers depend on families and why it has to be a partnership. Mm -hmm. Because a teacher is not in the home to make the child come to school. Mm -hmm. But a teacher depends on a family to establish the kind of routines mm -hmm. that you were talking about. So for example, if you, if you just, you know, the child comes home from school, well, what homework did you have today? Or maybe they stayed in the after school uh, program where they get to do their program, uh, their, their, uh, their homework. Mm -hmm. But they come home to a conversation about what work did you do today? What was the most exciting thing about school so that a parent can start to connect about the enjoyment factor? Yeah. School can't be a drag. Yeah. Right. If it's a drag, why would kids want to keep going back? Mm -hmm. There's got to be parts of the day that are very enjoyable to them. Mm -hmm. And parents can connect. Look, who knows the, t the child more than anybody That's right. That's right. is the That's parent. Right. Right. And so it's all, establishing that, isn't that Establishing something? routines mm -hmm. and also um, checking up and connecting with the school and knowing what's going on with your child. So if there's an issue going on at school, addressing it early, talking to the teacher, um, listening. If you get those connected messages or a telephone call saying your child was absent today and you weren't aware of it, talking with your child about that, looking at their report cards to notice how many days they're absent. And, absent. and for our secondary students, looking at period by period attendance. Mm -hmm. So are they going to first period but then not second? Or, you know, mm -hmm. really paying attention to where your child's at during the day and having those type of conversations with them. Right. Unfortunately, you know, we have a very high dropout rate. And the child who drops out probably in high school started to have some kind of uh, an attendance problem earlier. Attendance is a huge contributor to the dropout rate that we have today. Yeah. That's right. So I think for parents, they have to be aware that it is, in kindergarten, this is a very serious matter. Mm -hmm. My child is forming the habits and the appetite. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not just about the habit, it's about an appetite, you know, ganas, mm -hmm. wanting to go to school. Absolutely, um, yeah. and when you talk about the dropout rate, poor attendance is one of, one of the strongest indicate, indicators of which children are going to drop out of school. We know by research mm -hmm. that's done in sixth grade, students that attend school poorly have an 80% chance of dropping out if they miss more than 80, um, if they're absent more than 20% of the school year. In high school, it's more important than anything else, more important than test scores. If you look at the correlation between good attendance and being on track and actually graduating, attendance is the number one indicator. So we really need to pay attention because it's common sense. If you're not in school, you're not going to learn, you're not going to pass your classes, and you're not going to graduate. Right. And it stresses out the whole system. It does stress. Mm -hmm. It stresses out everyone. And 